I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And the question is, have you ever fired someone? Now, there's lots of layers to the, how to answer this question, depending upon who the audience is. But I want to address one thing first before I actually answer the question. And that is, there's a signal that they are sending in the question that is going to bear investigation later out, later on. That's why I wanted to say this at the beginning because there's, there will be a temptation to cut off as soon as I start answering the question. But I'm, I want to ask you, hang in there because the signal is really the most important part of the question. So the way I would answer the question straight on depends on the organization. So, for example, if this was a Wall Street firm, which has the reputation of being tough, aggressive, hedge fund, you know, you know, and I'm just caricaturing here. You've seen enough movies, so you know what I'm talking about. You, you might simply say, yeah, you know, I fired people before. You know, performance is always the variable. I've had the good fortune of not have to, having to deal with harassment issues. Generally, my, my terminations have all come after a remediation process. You notice where I'm going with this. I'm, I'm making sure the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. It's coming up through a remediation process where we worked with the individual to see if we can get their performance up to standards. We couldn't. They were fired very simply because they didn't perform at a high enough level. So you do it very blunt, very direct. Different types of firms, uh, smaller firms, Firms for which there's a caring culture. So I'm going to use a nonprofit as an example here. You might simply say, yes, I've had the misfortune of having to fire someone. And frankly, it was a very hard thing to do. Yes, we went through the procedure of remediation. But it's the admission that we as an organization and I as a manager failed this person and failed in delivering an environment where they could excel. Now you could do your version of that, but that's a theme to work with. Notice how you know, instead of that firm and tough attitude of the first answer, there's a more gentle approach to answering the question. And thus you have to know the culture that you're interviewing with in order to understand which one is the right one to use. After all, the tough person isn't going to work well in the nonprofit, and the touchy-feely person is going to work well in the hedge fund environment, right? Now, here's the signal. The signal that they're sending to you is that they've got some problems, and they're curious as to whether or not you could stand a step into an awkward situation and solve it for them. Do you have that kind of experience? And thus, when you finish answering the question, you know, the way I want you to flip it is once you've answered the question that they've asked, you follow up immediately by saying, I'm curious, is there an issue around here that I should know that I'm stepping into? Notice this is a question for someone in a leadership role. And this is your opportunity for them to be forthcoming with you about what's going on uh, or what has gone on. Because they may talk about your predecessor or someone that they've hired in the past who couldn't pull the trigger and thus had to leave or they had to get rid of because they wouldn't fire someone or they handled it badly or whatever it is. It's their chance to become forthcoming with you and for you to learn more about them, what their history has been, and thus it signals a great opportunity for you to explore. Hope you found this helpful. Again, JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. Have a great day. Take care.